Our next section is going to be about Christopher Columbus. And uh, Christopher Columbus was a explorer. He sailed for the country of Spain. And he is really well known because we say that he's the first person to discover the New World. And uh, throughout this unit, you'll realize that the word, the word choice is kind of poor with that. Um, and you're going to see that, yes, Columbus was a great sailor. Um, but there were some problems with the history that we typically teach in school. Uh, so let's take a look at, at uh, Christopher Columbus. In 1492, the search for this all, route, all water route to Asia would lead Christopher Columbus to make a discovery that would not only change the old world of Europe, but also the unknown new world in which would become known as the Americas. Um, what he did was he followed the king and queen of Spain's advice and or their their direction rather, and he sailed from Europe and he attempted to reach Asia and India. And uh, look at this map here. You'll see he set out here from Asia or from uh, Spain, and he sailed west. Now that's quite interesting, and it's rather uh, it's a new concept because most people. Uh, up to this point, we're sailing down around Africa like that to get over to India and to China. Again, they were coming down around the west coast of Africa and up the east coast all the way over to uh, Asia. He instead went west. And you're going to see in your unit engagement activity tomorrow that... Uh, he had he had statistics backing him up. He had calculations. He had a lot of different um, guidance that showed him and showed others that he could make it from uh, Spain all the way west to Asia. He didn't have all the information, and that information he did not have proved to be kind of important. Uh, so take a look there. He would never really understand what he had done, even after he arrived in, in uh, North America in the Caribbean. He just didn't really know where he was because he was so sure he was in Asia. So he even called the people from this new world Indians because he thought he was in the Indies. Um, basically, his idea was that he could reach Asia by sailing west across the Atlantic Ocean. Now, looking at this map that you've seen before, um, you can see, hey, it's a no-brainer. Sail west from Spain, and you will reach China and India eventually. But there's a large problem, and we'll talk about that. Okay, um, again, another map from his time. This shows, this map here shows a lot of different things. First of all, uh, areas where Europeans lived and where they were familiar with. Notice, it's pretty accurate by today's standards. It's pretty accurate. The northern coast here of Africa, all around the Mediterranean, there have been centuries of exploration and mapping so they're accurate but notice out here out here into Asia it's very inaccurate um, th there are places that don't even exist on the map uh, there are rivers that aren't there 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 are I don't know it's a mess and the scale is all wrong as well so people basically using this map they would probably be in a lot of trouble if they were going to go a long distance. All right, uh, here are some other images of Columbus. Here, this distinct, distinctive man, and uh, people basically, you know, traveling around by boat. And remember that the reason for traveling by boat is that it's much faster than traveling by land. Um, picture here of Columbus landing in the New World. He's planting a flag. And that flag is for Spain. It is their, uh, their flag. All the land that Columbus claimed became property of Spain. Now, the Native Americans that lived there, they didn't realize that. And uh, they were greatly affected by that. But he didn't really care. All right, let's see. Um, Columbus, he was a brave and skillful sailor. There is no doubt about that. History has shown that he made a very dangerous voyage from Spain to the New World three different times. Uh, his, his voyage brought two very different worlds in contact with each other. 
If you remember back, the uh, Native Americans living in the Caribbean, living in Mexico, living in North America, they were all pretty much Stone Age civilizations. Uh, they used stone and wood for their tools and weapons. And um, Europeans at this point, they had metal, they had guns, they had spears that were made out of metal, metal pots, steel, swords. They were very dangerous. And um, they also had a secret weapon called smallpox. And by the 15, 1600s, Europeans were becoming more and more immune to smallpox, but it's a disease that kills people. And so that, uh, be, uh, moreover than, more so rather than, um, than weapons, smallpox disease killed millions and millions of Native Americans. All right, Columbus's search for gold and glory led him to enslave the people that he met in this new world. The goal of Columbus when he arrived was to build wealth for himself and for Spain. And to do that, he needed workers. So the Spanish quickly created a system where natives were enslaved and they were taken to work in silver mines, on plantations, anywhere that uh, wealth could be accumulated. And accumulated means collected or built up. Um, like I said before, wherever Columbus landed, he claimed the land for the king of Spain. This was a beginning, was the beginning of the Spanish colonization of America. And um, Spain becomes a huge power, and you can see the effects of that today even. Because think about where in South America uh, people live and where they, what language they speak. Typically, a majority speak Spanish because Spain colonized and controlled South America um, for a great deal of time. Columbus did not discover America, nor did he prove that the world is round. He thought that he was near Asia, and he was the first of many European explorers who would come to the Americas. So that's why he's important. By this point, people already believed that the Earth was round, and Columbus's calculations showed that the Earth was round. But he thought that the Earth was a little bit smaller, and he did not have a map that showed North and South America.